All right, and there we go. Welcome. Um, this is just a little bit of a primer video for any student who chooses to, you know, take one of our classes in the third option, the flexible lecture or pre recorded option. This is another reminder. This is for journalism 180010. And it's up to you on how you would like to attend class. Uh, you don't even have to do it consistently, right? So the three options you have is in person, scheduled online slash uh, live stream. Option number three, pre recorded slash flexible online. Um, again, it, you don't have to remain consistent. So, like maybe the first class you're going to come in person, second class you want to do the live stream, that's fine. It's, it's totally up to you. Um, but I just kind of want to make this video. If you ever need to reference it, if you decide to do a class through the third option, the, the pre recorded, or I call it the flexible online, but either way. So very quickly, the only thing that I want to go over for for you is how modules are going to work. So modules will be created within 24 hours after class. So for example, I have my uh, schedule here. Let me just put this. So for example, um, 119 is our first class and we're going to have an in-person class. I'm going to be in room A240 actually doing the lecture and recording it and recording my uh, screen and everything. Within 24 hours, I need to take that recording and upload it onto Canvas. And the way I'm going to organize it for you is through a module, because I think it's probably going to be the easiest. So um, this is pretty much what the first module will look like. It might be a little bit different, but pretty similar. Excuse me. But I'm actually going to focus on a different module. Uh, this is just an example. Um, also, very quickly before I kind of get there, know that starting probably like 120, I'm going to make the home page this module page. And I'll use my little annotate tool. So right now the home page for our class is not the modules, right? Right now this is a this is an old class of mine, 180005. Um, our home page right now is just the syllabus, right? There's a link to the syllabus or as always you can just go to MCC syllabus and pull it up. But right now it's just our syllabus. After 120, the home page is going to be the modules. Okay, so it's going to look like this pretty much. Um, I'm only going to do one module at a time. Okay, so again, just as soon as we finish one class, I'll make the module within 24 hours. You'll have everything posted there. Uh, but if you ever need to go to it, you can just click the home page and I'll snap right to it, or you can go to modules. Because uh, I think this is, can also be helpful for students who aren't doing the uh, pre recorded option. Okay, so let's go over one of these modules. So again, it's only going to be one at a time. All right. Um, so stick with me here. I'm going to move over to this module just because it has basically everything that a, a module might have, if that makes sense. Um, so modules are, are essentially just folders, right? They're just folders that house the lecture recording, the presentation, any assignments, and also any links. Um, of course, I don't have a link on this one, so let me just kind of go back to this one. So you can see some of these links actually go to other websites. So for example, I label this as Canopy Walkthrough, and if you click it, it'll bring you to the YouTube video for the Canopy Walkthrough. So again, it's, it's pretty much just a folder and it'll contain several things. Um, but let's look at this one, okay? So, you know, for us, again, this is just sort of theoretical, um, but for us, you'll see this uh, module very similar to this after 2-2, right? We're gonna have class on 2-2, it's gonna be from 6 to 8.50. Um, and then within 24 hours after that class ending, I'm going to create this module for you. So this module will hold the lecture recording. It will also hold any presentation. So I do PowerPoints in my class um, and I make sure to upload the PowerPoint file, but also the PDF. And then also any assignments. So let's go over this quickly. Um, I don't wanna make this video too long. So I'm gonna go over this uh, pretty quick. The one thing I wanna emphasize for each module, you need to watch 
the entire lecture recording before moving through the module. Um, so again, let me just kind of emphasize that. Do not, please do not try to do the assignment without watching the lecture recording, right? It's your class. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's um, you know, required. In my other classes, when I did Flexible Online before, I would actually um, put a prerequisite on this where you have to watch the entire thing before you can access anything else. Um, I'm probably not going to do that because again, it depends, you know, maybe you'll, you know, um, I, I don't need to explain it, but I'm probably not going to lock it. Okay. Uh, but know that you need to watch the whole thing. So let's look over how that works. So you just click it and I actually already have it open, but I'll click it anyway. Go ahead and click the link that says lecture recording. And when you do that, it's going to go to this player video or that doesn't make sense. It's going to go to this player. And this is where I upload the video file. Um, is there anything I want to say about this? Oh, there's a few things I want to say. I upload these to our Canvas page, but our Canvas page only has a certain amount of data that it can hold. So it's possible that I'm going to have to delete older lectures, okay? So that's why it's super important that you watch the lecture video in its entirety before um, the next week's class, okay? Because it is not on there permanently. Um, Maybe I should go over that one more time. So before we get to the player video, I'll, I'll emphasize that one more time. So I'm going to go back to modules and I just kind of want to clear up a few things. So again, if you're deciding to come to class on, you know, if you're going to do the 2-2 class in the flexible online version or the pre-recorded option, right, that option three, know that you don't have to come to class um, and that this module will be created within 24 hours. However, you need to watch the lecture recording and, you know, go through the presentation, everything, you know, absorb that class content before the next class. So before in this example, before 2-9, okay? Um, and that's for several reasons, right? You need to experience this class and absorb this class content before the next section of the course. But also it's strongly possible that after a short amount of time, I will have to delete the older lecture recordings. So make sure that you're watching them before the next week. In addition to that, know that assignment due dates are concrete, right? Just because you don't, again, I'm just using it as an example, but on 2-2, I'm going to assign two different assignments that will be due before class, before six o'clock PM on 2-9. Um, the dates on here are different, right? Because this is a whole different class, but it's the same idea. So for example, you know, you watch your lecture recording, you take your notes, um, everything's good to go. Know that the assignments, no matter how late you decided to watch this, the assignments are still going to be due to nine before 6 p.m. So for example, you know, if I was doing this and I say, you know what, I'm not gonna wait until two five to finally actually watch this lecture recording. That's up to you, that's totally fine. But know that you now only have from 2.5 to 2.9 to complete the assignments. Because again, the assignments, regardless of when you watch the lecture recording, right, that's on you. Uh, that's your decision. The assignments are due on their due dates. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, all right. So yes. I think I made that very clear. All right, so now let's check out this lecture recording. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click lecture recording, right? It's just a link. Try that one more time. And I'll pause this for a second. Let's just go over a few things very quickly. You can watch the lecture recording in the browser. Okay, if I just click play, or you click play down here. There's your, oops, there's your timeline. Okay, so you can click through. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, but there's our video, it's going. So play, plot, play, pause, play, pause is right here. Uh, another thing I want to show you, unfortunately, there are no subtitles. Um, I will try to also post the Zoom recordings via link as in our announcements. So you can check those out now. Those will have your subtitles. Um, however, those only stick around for 45 days. So that's why they're not in the module. Um, that'll make more sense as we get kind of later in the class. 
But if you need subtitles, make sure you check out the Zoom links instead, right? I'll actually, and every week of class, I post an announcement kind of recapping what we did. And in that announcement, I also post the link to the Zoom recording and I'll actually bring you to the Zoom website. And um, all of those are subtitled. I enabled subtitles on that. So you can uh, do that. You can click subtitles there. Uh, but for this, there are no subtitles, unfortunately. Uh, next is the speed. Obviously, there's no way for me to check this, but please just watch at normal speed, 1.00x. 1, 1 Do not try to speed through. There's a lot of course content in every lecture, and it's super important that you um, absorb it all. And if you speed through it, you're not going to. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. Okay, over uh, next to that speed option. Yeah, that makes sense. That speed option is your resolution. This resolution always defaults as the lowest for some reason. Uh, please make sure to hit 1920 by 1080. Okay, just like that. And that'll be full HD. I show a lot of clips. Um, it's not just me talking over PowerPoints for the entire class. I show a lot of clips, so please make sure to do HD. Here's your audio for the video itself, right? Make sure to also have your own computer audio going on too. And then next to there is your full screen. Okay, I'm not gonna keep it in full screen, but when you watch it, please just do full screen so you can see the text clearly, you can see the videos clearly. Um, I paused on the slide just so you kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. So you'll see the PowerPoint, uh, maybe it'll be easier if I do it full screen. You'll see the PowerPoint, right? I'll have the information. And then just for a second, I'm gonna let this play. Uh, all right, so as you can see and hear, you'll hear my voice talking over the video. You'll see me in the upper right-hand corner. It'll be a little bit different for us because I'm actually recording it um, in class in room A240. I'm not doing it in my room. So it'll be kind of like a, a wide shot, but it's the same idea. And I just bought a lav mic, so you'll be able to, you should hopefully, cross, your, cross my fingers, you should be able to hear me clearly. Okay, and I'll be talking over the presentation to be just like what you're seeing here. Uh, or very similar, I should say. Also, and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, but just know, as I mentioned before, I show a lot of clips in class, which I think I'm about to do right now. So I'll just kind of play this in the background as I talk. Um, so I show a lot of clips and know that you don't have to do anything, okay? Literally, once you press play on this, everything will just kind of go through. You don't have to go to any separate links or anything like that, right? The video is all in that recording because I'm sharing the screen um, as I'm doing it. So you don't have to click anything. Just again, just sit down. Um, what do I want to say about that? Yeah, just sit down as if you're coming to class. That's it. Just bring your notebook, pen, take notes, hit play, sit back and uh, yeah, listen, take notes. Also a super important thing, and I don't know, I may have been making so many of these videos, so I might be repeating myself, but this is super important, so it's okay if I am repeating myself. My class is designed to have you engage with the class content consistently. You'll see pretty quickly that these lecture recordings Again, it's not me just talking over stuff. Obviously there's some of that, um, but I make sure to have several sort of checkpoints. And these checkpoints will be, you know, we'll be talking about, you know, the video I just showed you a second ago is from the movie Unforgiven. And I show you that clip because we just talked about the seven elements of character. And we just, I just went through, you know, the descriptions. Well, then I say, okay, we're gonna stop and I'm gonna show you this clip from this movie. And I want you to tell me, how are we learning backstory? How are we learning motivation? How are we learning blah, 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 when we watch this clip? Now in class and um, you know, face-to-face -face or even like my scheduled online, I'll ask those questions. We watch the clip and then the class speaks, right? They participate. Obviously, if you're doing the pre-recorded option, you're not gonna be able to do that, right? Because you're coming to this later, but please do it internally, right? So. If I ask those questions, you watch the video, make sure that you are kind of answering them, right? Maybe you're not doing it out loud, but you'll go, 
yeah, I guess that line of dialogue kind of speaks to that character's motivation because it's saying he's that character saying why he wants to do the thing he's going to do. Um, so make sure you're participating. You're answering the questions that I'm asking you. In our scenario, depending on how many students I have in person for each class, obviously you're going to be hearing them too, right? Because I'm going to be asking them questions and you'll be, excuse me, hearing and seeing that. But it's super important that you too, that you're participating along with it. Um, again, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but I, so I'll say it just one more time. If you do not in, interact with the class content, if you don't answer those questions, if you don't participate in your own way, it's going to be very difficult to learn this content. Okay, you need to kind of put it through your own perspective to understand it. So make sure that you are engaging with class content consistently. And the best way to do that is when I do those check-ins and I ask questions, know that I'm asking the questions to you as well. And I want you to answer them on your own. Okay, so I think that's uh, about it. The last thing I'm gonna say here is um, this: the timeline. Know that, you know, um, again, you're literally watching the in-person class recording. And I send these out about half an hour before class. So I'm gonna make this very clear. Um, this is gonna be different, but you'll probably wanna skim to the 30 minute mark at least, okay? Just skim to until you see the first slide. The first slide will always be titled. So this is a different scenario because this is for like a, a totally different class. Um, but if I go ahead and do it, course, it's going to be difficult. There we go. Right, you'll always see this, you'll see the title of the presentation and the date. So just basically fast forward to that, um, using the timeline here. And again, sometimes you'll have to skip all the way like half an hour. Um, because again, I send out the link for the students who decide to do the scheduled online or the live stream. And I send that out about half an hour before class. So zoom is recording that and unfortunately, I can't um, edit that out when I upload it. So know that you might have to skip ahead. Um, okay, so I'm saying that out loud. So know that that might be the case, uh, but maybe I'll see if I could do something to edit that out. But the sort of operating procedure here is you're gonna have to fast forward until you see that first slide. Um, I'll at least try to, when I post this stuff, I'll at least try to put like a time code. So I'll go back to the module. Let me just double check that I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am pretty sure we went over everything. So let's go back. Uh, what I'll try to do, if I can remember, hopefully I will. Um, not only do I put the runtime for each lecture recording, so you know it says lecture recording two hours and 17 minutes. Um, instead of doing that, because you can expect every lecture recording will be a full class period, right? Because again, I'm just recording our in-person classes. So it's gonna be two hours and 50 minutes. Um, so instead of doing that, what I'll do is I'll put like time code. So I'll probably say something like 030, or I'll do like, I'll make it as specific, as specific as I can to this. So again, we're kind of pretending, but let's say it starts here. Okay, so I'll put like 00 colon 29 colon 39 dash 2 colon 17 colon 52, right? So you know, oh, okay, I could just jump to 2939. That's the start of the lecture recording. Okay, so that's the lecture recordings. Now the next thing, so again, you know, let's pretend it's like two, three. Okay, we just had class two, two, it ended at 8, 50 p.m. You're gonna see this module pop up. You're gonna see the lecture recording. You know to watch the lecture recording. You know that, hey, I can just sit down, have my notebook ready, have my pen ready, and that lecture recording is gonna have the PowerPoint, it's gonna have all the text, and it's gonna have, um, you know, the instructor, Zach's commentary over it. You'll see Zach in there. You'll be asking questions, you need to participate, etc. So you'll have that all in the lecture recording. All the video clips that I show you will be part of that. You don't have to click anything. Um, so you need to watch that in its entirety. And again, take notes, but also almost more importantly than taking notes, participate. When I ask questions, answer them. When we do those video check-ins, participate. Um, you know, again, the, the presentation is part of the lecture recording. It's in there, but if you ever want to look at them separately, you can. Um, I'm just going to do open link a new tab. And it'll look something like this. Okay. Uh, let's see if it downloads. Or I should say, yeah, 
comes up. There we go. Right. So, and I'm just going to kind of skim through here. We're going to do a random one. Okay. So you have the entire PowerPoint there as a PDF. If you click this, you can also download it. Same thing with the video. I don't know if I went over that, but it has the same icon. It'll say like download. You click that, it'll download it to your computer. Um, I'll also post a uh, screen grab for lecture recordings. That might help. That's like label. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. So we talked about that. Next, assignments. Let's talk about this very quickly. I'm not going to go over how to like do assignments because I'll do that in class, part of the lecture recordings. Um, but I do want to show you again, just to kind of make it as easy as possible. I'm going to group everything together. So again, we're pretending this was two two. So it'll look somewhat like this, our actual module. And in the assignment, the assignments will be there. We have the same two assignments that will be due for you as I have for my this old class. Uh, reflection paper one and quiz two are both going to be due next class. Now these dates are incorrect. Instead, it's going to say uh, due two nine before class, before six p.m. Okay, so I, I'm done with my module. I did a lecture recording. I fully understand it. I get it. Now I'm going to start the assignments. Again, do not start the assignments until you complete the lecture recording. And again, watch the whole thing. Um, okay, reflection paper one. So, okay, I'm going to go work on the assignment. So I just click it. Boom. There we go. Here's the assignment. And again, I'm not going to go over everything like how to upload the document. I'm, I'm going to go over that on the first day of class. And I also made a separate video that goes over that. So, uh, but I just want to show you like, okay, oh, here's the assignment directions. Also, I'm in like teacher view right now. Um, it'll look very similar to you, but the only difference it'll say like submit document up here instead. Again, I go over this on the first day of class. I have a whole separate video on it that I'll post a bit uh, at the start of the semester. Um, okay, so I think that's all I'm going to say about that. Again, all of our, again, I'm going to go over this. I don't know why I'm saying it now, but um, all of our reflection papers also have videos in there that work pretty similar to the uh, lecture recordings. All right. I think that's it. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I got everything. We talked about the modules. We talked about how to watch the video, that you need to watch all of it, and you need to participate. Um, and how assignments work. So I think that's it. Um, all right. So that's that's it for how to use modules. Um, specifically, if you're going to go come to one of my one of our classes, I don't, I never like to say my class. One of our classes um, in the pre-recorded route or the flexible online route. Um, again, you don't have to actually come to class, but check in within the next 24 hours. Make sure you complete that module. Do the lecture recording and the assignments. Uh, do the assignments before they're due. Do the lecture recording before the next class. Again, it'll be up there within 24 hours. So that should give you plenty of time. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know early in the semester. Uh, send me an email and I'll be happy to kind of uh, walk you through it some more. All right, I think that's it, yeah. All right, so thank you. I'll see you in class, maybe. <laughs>